Are you interested in figuring out your pool surface area? Well, you're in luck because this video is all about calculating pool surface areas and I'll even introduce you to a very useful calculator that will make it so much simpler for you. Let's dive straight in. Hi there, I'm Louis from Pool Advisor and I'm here to talk to you about pool surface area calculations. Knowing your pool surface area is pretty important, pretty useful, because once you know your surface area, it's much easier to calculate the overall volume of your pool, which you need to know um, whenever you're adding any chemicals to your pool. Knowing your surface area is also useful for calculating how much water is lost to evaporation. It's useful if you want to purchase a pool cover, for example, and you need to know what size it should be. And also it can be useful for calculating how much chlorine you're going to lose to sunlight, which can be important as well. So how do we calculate it? Well, I've made a very useful pool surface area calculator, um, which allows you to just enter the dimensions of your pool and automatically it spits out a number for the surface area of your pool. And I'll run you through how that works right now. So to calculate the surface area of your pool, you're gonna to head to pooladvisor.com.au, which is my site. And um, I've created a surface area calculator for swimming pools right here. Here's how it works. Basically, you first select your pool shape and you can choose rectangular square, circular and oval or kidney shaped pools. And then you simply enter the dimensions of your pool. So for a rectangular pool, you would enter the length in meters. So for example, nine meters and then the width, which could be say four meters. And that would tell you your pool surface area straight away, 36 square meters, which is simply the length uh, multiplied by the width there. And you can see that it brings up this nice little animation here as well. And you can just play with that. And that's kind of like a bit of a sanity check so that you, um, you know, you, you know the dimensions that you're entering kind of make sense with um, the shape of your pool. You can also um, select a circular or oval pool, and then it will automatically um, adjust the calculation and tell you that based on a seven meter long and three meter wide oval pool, you would actually have a surface area of 16.5 square meters. And then you can also do the same for a kidney pool here. And uh, that is basically the length. Um, which is this number here, A, and then you've got the two bulges, the larger bulge and then the smaller bulge, B and C. And if you enter those dimensions in there, so they were like four and three, your surface area there is 22.1 square meters. If you wanted to calculate these by hand, you also could. For a rectangular pool, the surface area is simply the length multiplied by the width. For a circular or oval pool, um, the formula is pi, 3.14, times the length on two, times by the width on two. And when I say width on two, I just mean the width divided by two and the length divided by two. For a kidney shaped pool, um, you sum up this, these two, the, um, the larger bulge and then the, the width of the smaller bulge, you sum them up, then you multiply that by the total length, and then you multiply that by 0 0.45, and that will get you um, the approximate surface area of a kidney shaped pool. That is a bit of an approximation, that calculation is not perfect, um, but it's perfectly good enough for our, um, for our needs here. And that's pretty much all there is to our pool surface area calculations. I hope that makes sense. And um, if this video has helped you, I'd be really uh, appreciative if you could like it and um, comment on the video. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see all my um, other videos on pool maintenance. Thank you so much and uh, I'll see you in the next video.